Hello, and welcome to the Let's Get Real with Brenda Porch. Can I ask you a personal question? Are you popular? Now, I'm not talking about being famous like a celebrity, but do you have lots of friends? I think most of us want to be liked, and when we want to have friends, that's a normal emotion. I think that's why moving to a new place is so difficult. Loneliness can be real. We were designed as human beings to want to be connected with those around us. Now, there might be a few of you listening today who prefer to be alone, but I suspect that even you have a few people in your life that you enjoy being around. Me? <laughs> I love people. I love being the center of attention. Can't you tell? And I love the energy that comes from being with a group of people who like each other. I love that feeling of community. But I have a real problem when it comes to someone I feel doesn't like me. That bothers me. It makes me feel bad. I mean, why would someone not like me, right? I'm absolutely perfect. I'm cute. I'm funny. And well, I'm likable. Don't you agree? In the seventh grade, I told my class bully that everyone was afraid of her and not everybody liked her. Now, I thought she would be thankful. I thought she would appreciate someone who told her the truth. I just knew that I was going to be her best friend and advisor after that. After all, she asked me, right? So I told her the truth. Telling the truth is always best, isn't it? But, well, she didn't exactly share my views. And so for the next few weeks, I found myself hiding in the ditch on the way home from school, praying that she and her friends did not find me. Whew. So maybe, just maybe, people don't really want to hear the truth. Have you ever experienced something like that? Have you ever said something to someone who became angry with you for what you said? even though what you said was the truth. The Apostle Paul had that experience many, many times. He was constantly making people mad. Acts chapter 21, verse 27. Now when the seven days were almost ended, the Jews from Asia, seeing him in the temple, stirred up the whole crowd and laid hands on him, crying, Men of Israel, help! This is the man who teaches all men everywhere against the people, the law, and this place. And furthermore, he has also brought Greeks into the temple and has defiled this place. Paul was preaching Jesus, and he was always preaching to everyone. They didn't want him in, his t in their temple, and they didn't want him proclaiming that Jesus Christ was God's son. And they certainly didn't want him to include the Greeks. They became furious. In verses 30 and 31, it says, And all the city was disturbed, and the people ran together, seized Paul, and dragged him out of the temple, and immediately the doors were shut. Now, as they were seeking to kill him, news came to the commander of the garrison that all Jerusalem was in an uproar. Look at what just happened. They dragged him out of the temple, and they were seeking to kill him. Why? because he was preaching Jesus. If you're a Christian, you are instructed by God to preach the gospel. Mark chapter 16, verse 15 and 16. And he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Did you see that? Why are we to preach the gospel? so that others will believe, be baptized, and be saved. If they don't, they'll be condemned. This is a serious mission, but it can also be a difficult one, especially if you hate confrontation or making people mad. I want to be liked. I want to be at peace with those around me. I don't want to upset or make anyone angry with me. But the hard truth here is, my friends, that if you are doing the will of the Father and preaching Jesus, not everyone will like it. In fact, some may become angry with you. The gospel is the good news about Jesus. It's the story of our redemption and our ability to spend eternity in heaven with God. Shouldn't that make everyone happy? Isn't that actually good news? No, no, for some it is not. 
For some, it means a dramatic change in their lifestyle, their beliefs, and even who they have as friends. Living for Christ is not always an easy way of life, but it is a blessed way of life. I love being a Christian. I'm thankful that I have a father who loves me, who answers my prayers and sent his son to die for me. I'm excited about the future in heaven with God, but I also need to realize that not everyone feels this way. Not everyone wants to live a life dedicated to service and to others. So telling others about Jesus is risky. They might not like it, or they might want to kill you like they did Paul. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 11 and 12, Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. My sisters, if you're trying to tell someone about Jesus and they become angry, even saying bad things about you or even to you, you're in good company. It happened to the prophets, it happened to the apostles, and it happened to Jesus. I hate to say it, but the truth is we should expect it. Humbling yourself, examining your own sin, repenting and making dramatic changes in your life isn't easy. Yes, it's worth it, and yes, it's a blessed life, but it's not for everyone. Matthew chapter 7, 13 and 14. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. We just plant the seed. Sometimes we do it with our mouths, and sometimes we do it with our lives. Either way, we need to be prepared for their dislike, and that's okay. No, it's not easy. Like I said, I want to be liked. But if we respond in a kind, gentle way to even their sharpest darts, maybe, just maybe, one day they will see our lives and want to know how we can be so kind when others are so cruel. That's the goal, to live a life that draws others to Jesus. Hopefully there will never come a time when they drag us out, beat us, and kill us. But even if that happens, God will bless us here and in heaven. There are so many who have died for their faith, and many more will suffer and die in the future. That, too, is a hard truth. So, being liked by everyone should not be my goal. Both telling and showing others about the love of God and the blessings of living a Christian life should be. I don't know about you, but that helps me. It helps me to know that not everyone will like me or what I have to say. That's okay, because I can love them anyway, even if they don't love me. That's the true power of godly love. I pray that you'll give this lesson from God's Word some serious thought and prayer. If you want to know more about me or this ministry, check out my website. The address will appear at the end of this message. And ladies, never forget that God loves you, and so do I.